Hello friends, this is Pamela and I just wanted to show you um, one of the things that I did today which was dye some paper. You can probably tell my fingers are still stained and I know I should have worn gloves but I don't know, I just like to get into my work. So anyway, what I did was I used red cabbage today and I took one head of cabbage and I just kind of chopped it up, not really fine, just in big chunks and kind of pulled it apart and I let it boil in the water and then I did some in the oven and some outside and I just wanted to show you the beautiful colors that I got from this beet or from um, this red cabbage. Some of my just um, are pretty plain you can't see but this one came up with some really cool speckles. I have several that are like that. They're just really speckled and it it's just so pretty. And then some are blue, some are green, some are purple. The green ones, this one's blue and, and, and kind of lavender, but the green ones, let me find the green ones. These are, sorry I hit the camera. After um, I added a little bit of baking soda and it turned the juice green and I think it's just so cool. So these I did outside. I put them on some of my metal patio furniture that I have in the backyard and just let them dry that way. So I have several different things and then this is polka dots from the little aluminum foil trays that you get at Dollar Tree. So I did a bunch with that, but I think my favorites are the, the blue and the purple ones, and they are so cool. They all came out different. I want to find some really awesome ones. They're all pretty cool. They just have different um, paperweights. This is a, a pretty heavy paperweight, so um, it I didn't want it to fall apart when I did that. The, these are my absolute favorites. These purple. And some of them have splotches of green on them. And I just think they are so awesome. So you really have to try it because it just comes out so beautifully. These are really purple and then it comes into some that have a little more blue green when the juice was kind of um, not as concentrated I think and then it also had a reaction with the aluminum um, the little aluminum trays and I think that's probably what caused some of that coloring but they just came out so awesome I love this one, and I know the, probably the lighting isn't the best to show it off, but it's just so cool. And then I have these that I put on my patio table, and look at this. This reminds me of like a mermaid. I think I'm going to call it my mermaid paper, because there are a bunch that look like this that just came out so awesome. And again, I think that the metal reacted with the cabbage juice, the acid in it, and change the paper color or the dye color. Look at this one. This one's so cool. It goes from like purple to green to blue. Really awesome. And then I did a ton of paper so I'm not going to obviously show you all of them. But there are a couple that are really interesting. This one, check out this paper. I love it. It is so cool. And let me find the other one that I thought was really interesting. Uh, this one. This one was done in the oven. And it's blue and it's got this kind of a rust color in the center. I don't know what that's from or why that it caused that because it didn't burn. It's not burnt. It's just 
Well, I don't know. Maybe there was something on the rack. But aren't these just so cool? You guys have got to try it. It's. I think that cabbage is probably my favorite um, dyeing medium right now because you just get so many color variations with the cabbage. It's just so cool. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to share that real quick with you. So have a fabulous evening and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.